Well, with me now is uh, Holly Dagres, who's a fellow at the Atlantic Council, an American think tank in the field of international affairs. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, reports of this cyber attack, first of all, what do you make of them? Well, it's an interesting um, news headline because of the fact that this happened just right after the drone was struck down. And it, funny enough, this was actually planned weeks in advance, in retaliation of the tankers. But the, the decision to actually do it in response to the drone attack is what's really useful knowledge right now for us. Uh, and it may have disabled some systems in Iran is what we're learning. Yes, um, this is something actually that the Iranians and I think some p folks that are wa working on Iran were aware of. This was actually discussed in a documentary on the Sussex attack um, on Iran's nuclear facilities a um, few years ago. So it, it's not something entirely surprising, but it's interesting given the, the events that have been going on in the past week. What of the wider picture? We saw Mike Pence there in that uh, footage talking about the fact that as far as the Americans are concerned, there could be talks with no preconditions. What, do, what does that point towards, do you think? Well, this is very confusing. The Trump administration initially came out with this 12-point maximum pressure policy about a year ago, and they've been pushing back on Iran with punitive sanctions and all these sticks, but yet they've not offered any real incentives. And now they're suddenly coming out and saying, well, we'll talk to you now. We'll give you our number. And the Iranians are looking at this very cautiously. They saw what happened with the North Koreans. And they're looking at this and saying, well, unless you're going to really offer us something good, like coming back to the Iran nuclear agreement or rolling back on these sanctions, or more importantly, providing a humanitarian goods channel, you're not going to see the Iranians coming back to the table and talking with Americans anytime soon. Uh, and could you imagine any of that list being put in front of the Iranians uh, as part of a potential incentive to talk? I mean, absolutely, but I think just talking about it isn't going to be enough for the Iranians. The Iranians are going to want to actually see the U.S. actually implement this, and I think a good start would be a humanitarian goods channel. Right now, Iranians are lacking medicine. Right now, Iranians are struggling to f with the basic goods. So if they can just pass through this channel and start to show some incentive, I think then you can maybe see the Iranians talking more. But until then, I think they don't trust the United States with everything that's going on. Although, of course, that runs counter to what the sanctions are seeking to do, doesn't it? Absolutely. And that's where the problem lies. The Trump administration has put out this Iran policy that we're not even sure we understand. It's not um, going, it's going one way um, with economic collapse one day, another day they're saying we should negotiate. And so the Iranians are looking at this, trying to make sense of all of it. So they need some real incentive to move forward. Okay. Holly Dagres, thank you very much indeed for coming thank in. You.